Time though now to discuss our debate of the morning. Should celebrities stop interfering in politics? Uh, from the EU referendum to the US presidential election, we've all seen entertainers using their platform as a soapbox to give us their opinions on the issues of the day. But some people think that they should just keep out of it. They shouldn't get involved. Uh, here to discuss this question, we have with us now author Peter Lloyd and Ash Sarka, blogger at Navara Media. Uh, welcome to you both. And uh, now this can be quite a thorny issue. It really is split this debate. Should celebrities just keep their nose out of politics and just entertain us? Peter, I'll come to you first. Yes, they absolutely should. I think when it comes to politics, celebrities should show restraint. Audiences want to be entertained, they want like, relief, they don't want to be hectored and have to witness virtue signalling and political posturing. That's not what people want and it's not the jobs of celebrities to do that. They should just stick to the day job. Ash, what do you think about that? I mean, a lot of celebrities who do get involved in politics or important causes, we see a lot of them talking about uh, charitable efforts as well uh, and events overseas. They will argue that they have a platform so they should use it for good. I mean, I'm quite impressed that you've managed to find the energy to argue the opposite side of this. I think it's bizarre to say that any person, because of their job, shouldn't talk about politics. Politics should not be the domain of politicians or journalists simply. It's for everyone. Celebrities, I think, have um, not just the freedom or the right to talk about politics, but I think the responsibility to make interventions when the luxury of silence is no longer an option. For instance, taking a stand against Trump's Muslim ban. But Ash, if I had spent a huge amount of money to go and see Kanye West in concert, for example, and then he gets up there and he does his 17-minute rant, a lot of people in that audience are going to be like looking at their watches, thinking, "I haven't Just come here." Just play Gold Digger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that this is something which is often said of, in particular, artists of colour. They're told to stick to the job, keep entertaining, and I think that's actually um, a deeply problematic expectation. Well, wasn't, you pay wasn't for Meryl Kanye West because you want to do that too. I don't think it's got anything to do with colour. I, th I think that quite often it is artists of colour who get stuck with this expectation. I'm not saying it's solely that. Um, you go to a Kanye West concert for Kanye West, which includes the rants, everyone knows that now. It's not like you're surprised when he comes out with an opinion. Similarly, when Beyonce came out of the Super Bowl last year, um, with her dancers arranged like um, Black Panthers and, you know, had them uh, reference Malcolm X, for instance. Which that, was ridiculous. That excited everyone. It was ridiculous. It was completely inappropriate. Well, then how come Lemonade was the best-selling album of Serena, last year? Serena Williams put some great things on Facebook, actually, and she feels that she does have a voice and it was um, black issues. It it was about um, youngsters on the streets being picked up unfairly just because of the colour of their skin. And when someone like that speaks, people tend to listen. But well, do you think particularly young people. Young people. But sometimes you, you get a feeling that sometimes actors do it cynically because they know that their acceptance speech will get on the news, on our show and like-minded shows around the world the next day yeah. if they make a political statement. It's just really naff virtue signalling. And ironically, it's not even about the political issues that, that they're addressing or, you know, the demographics in society who may be affected by certain, you know, policies or whatever. It's about them and their ego. They cannot stand just being light entertainers they want to have this heavyweight veneer of intellectualism and so they just buy into it with a little speech on the platform where they're telling all their like-minded peers exactly what they want to That's hear. That's nothing new. Marlon Brando supported the Black Panthers. Socrates, the footballer, took a stand against um, the military dictatorship in Brazil. Didier Drogba made interventions into the civil war in um, the Ivory Coast. Um, this isn't but does it action. actually have an impact? I mean, Peter, that is the argument. You hear these celebrities talking. Mm -hmm. Do you think they actually have an impact? Do they make a difference? No, not at all. And you know who we should ask about this? Hillary Clinton. Because did Beyonce and Jay-Z help her win over Donald Trump? No, well, they Gaga didn't. Gaga as well, who was performing at the Super Bowl halftime show last night. A lot of people watching her very keenly because she was a big Hillary Clinton yeah, she, she, uh, she, campaigner. She, exactly. She was a big, uh, you know, a big Democrat supporter. She was very vocal. I think at one point she was actually protesting outside Trump Tower. And I was actually impressed last night that she showed some restraint and, and some respect for the audience, especially given the level of divisiveness in America and some of the violence from the left. I think it was a good timing that she just... Look to sing it. Ash, do you think there's a, a danger that it could have a detrimental effect? So, for example, when an actress stands up maybe at the Oscars or the Golden Globes and, and, and is in floods of tears over a certain issue, that there'll be a large section of society that's a typical lefty lovey. I mean, why don't you shut up? And that actually it, it goes the wrong way. 
celebrity is no substitute for grassroots activism, to dedication to a cause and to building a social majority to um, try and achieve real structural change, right? So I'm not saying that um, Mahershala Ali and his wonderful speech against the Muslim ban is a substitute for protesting at airports. But I think these things work together. I think that um, it's a useful PR tool. I think it can boost a campaign in terms of numbers, in terms of donations. Beyonce and Jay-Z donated very generously to Black Lives Matter, for instance. Um, but there's also a flip side to this, right? So we could say that the culture of celebrity is something which led to the election of Donald Trump. Well, I was going to say, we Ronald are Reagan. missing out the biggest celebrity talking about politics here, Peter, and that is Donald Trump. He is obviously a businessman, but he came to the fore. In, he was in a lot of films, a lot of TV series. He, he was in front of The Apprentice. So that is a celebrity talking about politics. Uh, but he's not just talking about it, he's actually living it. And his he's absolutely changed his career now. He's not just a reality TV pundit or personality. He's a fascist. He Oh, for goodness sake. And no, he's not. He's the president of the United States. And rightly so. He's been, it's the result of a democratic process. And all these whining celebrities who are having huge tantrums on the street, they need to be, they need to grow up. OK, well, it is an interesting debate. Peter Lloyd and Ash Sarkar, thank you very much for coming in and debating that issue for us. Um